Never fished here before. Just coming down to see if it's worth making a proper video. Uh, I'm going to get my first bait on and plump next one up. I'm start to smell. Lots of core in the water. Last time we came down, it was crystal clear. But we had loads of rain last couple of days, so nice smell will stick out. Stand out like a sofa, hopefully. I'm not sure if it's all in here though. There you go. That's how you hook your bait. Head down when you're dangling it. So we'll get cast out. Well, I set the other rod up, keeping an eye on this one all the time. Oh, no dress. It's going to be interesting if I get one. This fence. It's just a bit over depth, that, but yeah, if you tie any rod up to it, this fence is going to make it interesting. Have to get through. Stuffed with coarse fish. Pike? I don't know. I did see one attack when I was coarse fishing it, but it was only small. Uh, I'm not sure if it gets poached, overfished. Like I say, this is just a wrecker. Hopefully, but the water is proper chocolate brown. It's just Start doing a few of these videos like video blogs. Because I do actually catch fish now and again. Not often. That Brent catches them all. So it'll be very raw footage. And um, very weird talking to yourself. But get used to that, I suppose. I'll get another light on and get some more bait on. Got some roach to try and some um, skimmers because there's a lot of skimmers in here. Usually a good ven venue for skimmers and hybrids, so there's lots of them. Give it a couple of hours here. Just not sure if there's any snags or anything. Not fishing it before. Now if you look at that, if you can see that, that's um, that's the weight taking that down. So it wants to go a bit deeper. And it's quite deep there compared to the other one. I'll give them. Half an hour to defrost and get some oil and I think we're going to be an oil day with all this colour in the water. Plenty of oil. One of gimmicks, what does actually work? A lot of stuff. Just to catch the angler. I keep thinking there's a knock on that, it's me on the fence. Bit over that foot. Some of the fish are bigger lake. I think that's a lot deeper. I'll try one there now. There's plenty of um, scope to move about here. Jump onto there. If you don't get on. Right. Get another trace on. It's got a pop up on this from. Um, the last outing on the ooze. I hope no one's watching me, they'll think I'm mad. Like I say, I don't know what this footage will come out like. Might be um, not too good. But something to watch if you've got nothing to do. Might be a blank though. Catching nothing. I'll take the pop-up off. 
know what a pop it up, it's too mucky the water. One of Brent's made ones put in the box. Get your traces in so no dogs will get hooked on the nose when they're sniffing it. Always make sure you've got to watch out for them blue dogs. I think I'll go with. I've got some roach somewhere. Bigger than them. Not sure if they're a bit too big. I'm not quite sure what's in here. We'll find out. Probably nothing. Because they're only the size of the skimmers. Seen better days. If you're fishing one of these venues and you've course fished it, try to get the bait what you're catching. Not actually from here, but it's full of roach and skimmers, so that's what I use, but I'm going to use. But I'll put a smell on start because it's, it's universal. Yeah, and that's the setup. Running rig, classic setup. Got thousands of fish on that. And got nothing at times. A bit awkward casting here. We'll have to cast for Haddo, I think, with this fence. Oh, I thought that was going to be over depth on this. Net bottom, that. Quite deep there. Tighten up so you get registration on your float. Um, well over depth there. To shallow that off, I think. Come on, there. put some oil on. Get your bait runners on, just in case. There's a massive pike in this one. You don't want to be getting caught with your rods going in. Singing here. Right, got a strike. It's on, but not feeling anything big. It's a fish. I don't know, it's um, ponding about. I think it was running really hard. Enough. Might be bigger than I thought. Keep the line down, enough to get under here. Five minutes that. On the roach. It's not a bad one. Can't see the blue trace. I think it's wrapped itself. Ooh, it's, it's a big big bugger this. It could be 20 pounds. Could be a 20 this one. I ain't got my scales. This is a big fish. This is a monster. <sighs> right, compose myself now. I can see the hooks. Can't believe that. It's 20 pound that. I've got no more scales though, as per usual. That is a beast. And I've got my bait back. <sighs> Need a bit awkward getting it out of here. Got a few upside there. <sighs> I 
Right. Within 10 minutes. Look at the size of that bloody head. This could be a really Flick, got to be careful with that hook. Right, you gotta do this proper. Can see the hooks. This out in a net. Oh, there you go. Ten minutes of fishing in the new venue. Look at the size of that head. That is one big fish. That's well over 20. I ain't got my scales, so can't be 100% positive, but anyone says it ain't, it's the biggest head I've ever seen on the pike. It's very well behaved. Look at the size of that thing. Whew. And could pause for breath. Whoop, got a run on the foul. Foul one now, we're just about to bring it in. Let it run a bit this one. Right. Yes, got it. Ooh. This one smelt this one. If you put in a puggled scrap it might be another quite sizable fish. Uh, it's not as big as the other one but Putting a good scrap up. I don't want to go through that line. I have to make sure I get the net. That's not. Oh! That's the thing about this time of year, kids. Real lively fish. Uh, it's in the net. We'll have to get to the other side. Nice easy on hooking that one. Only a smaller one, but still another fish. Right everyone, I think we're gonna call it a day. No what else happening now. Yeah, get myself home before rush hour.